So turn your mics on when you want to speak and then turn them off when you don't. Can I start? Yeah. Can you hear me? I just think that was amazing. And honestly, like the hugest round of applause to you all. It was phenomenal. Thank you, Kim. I, I, do you know what? I, I wrote stuff down. I, honestly, I've been juggling like fury today because I've been at work at the same time. So I've been looking at two monsters. So if I don't mention you personally, it's because I was in a meeting with somebody else at the same time. But, you know, I've really huge congratulations. It was just superbly choreographed, superbly organised. I enjoyed it from beginning to end. And when Miranda <laughs> said it was seven hours, I thought, oh, my God. We've all had so much of Zoom and Teams this year. I'll never stay awake. But, you know, you had me captivated, honestly. And once again, what really stands out is um, you all have the same starting place. I know the room where you, you do your workshops and, and I know Miranda's teaching style because I was lucky enough to do my master's with Miranda under Miranda's um, tutorage a few years ago. Um, you all start from the same place and yet you've created such amazing different and diverse work and I feel like I've learned a lot you've really made me think so um that's that's what I wanted to kick off with just well done thank you Kim that's a great place to kick off with yeah I think it is amazing they all start they all started with an acorn basically <laughs> and there's not an acorn in sight <laughs> mm. and um and I think, you know, what I really wanted to say as well is that everybody was given this platform equally. And the fact that, you know, some people have taken more time and some have taken less. Um, I want that to be known that that was each student's choice. You know, there was no kind of me saying you can have that much. And yeah, so that's interesting as well how they've all chosen how to use this platform. And I'm sure for the first years, and some of the second years that are new to the module that having seen it now, I mean, we're very much in a process, right? We, some of us, I mean, I think it's only me and Anna Seraphin that did the, the May one together. So really only you and I know what this, slightly what this process was going to be like. Uh, and Sally, yeah, Sally was there too. So no, very much a learning process. So I think, yeah, I feel really proud of, of the whole, of all of the students and the whole event. And they do love to talk. <laughs> I, you know, I bet they're exhausted. They have so much energy. Oh, oh, but we've got, we've got to be nice to talk. But it really struck me today how, how beautifully everyone has cooperated as well. And you've really um, supported each other. Because being an artist can be a very lonely career choice. And, and um, it, it strikes me how many accents from around the world that I've heard today and I've heard these different perspectives and for me that's really summed up the whole day it's like you're this little microcosm of this weird lockdown um this weird year that we've had where I've been in touch with people from around the world because of technology you've used your technology as your medium and that's just come across so strongly yeah yeah trying to get our heads around how to use this you know, we last year we talked about site and situation specific. So the takeover and the winter show were designed to be site and situation specific. And we talked a lot about that. And from the outset, I was trying to get across that this is also a site and a situation, you know, it's, it's a, a different one. And once you've kind of mourned the loss of the real, the actual building and the real experience, the experience of space and time, I think, I think we have, I mean, I always end these things with more ideas of how to use this platform. I think Richard has taught us a lot today. You know, hats off to Richard for extraordinary choreography of brilliant writing and directing, Richard, and I think has opened our eyes to more ways of using Zoom. Um, you know, the way that the, the, the actors were talking to each other through, the, through and across the platform was quite exhilarating in moments. Um, and I think, you know, Farah with her cooking and talking along with it and Niddy with her workshop, her live workshop and Leo with the walk, you know, hopefully we're trying to get lots of textures in here, 
we, we did have quite a lot of pre-recorded material, but partly that was the worry that people's laptops weren't good enough or their Wi-Fi wasn't good enough. So we had to we had to have kind of um, enough pre-recorded material as a backup. But I, I always feel like, gosh, I'd love to, you know, I'd love to get this even more visceral and more live and more, more, more um, te texture. But it's risky. I mean, I don't know what it was like for you all. Obviously, I was streaming most of it, so it was all very smooth. But maybe you've all just been on a really glitchy, jumpy journey. I've got no idea. <laughs> no idea. I just briefly say something. Sure. I just wanted to say, uh, um, um, one of the reasons I joined the Creative Arts course, one of the benefits has been the sort of collaboration connecting people from fine art, creative writing, film and drama. And it's about meeting other people I want to work with. And this has been a huge uh, project of collaboration. And I just, and normally obviously in theatre, there's normally often a bow, uh, but we decided because the piece sounds on a dark note, sort of that would compromise it. And obviously everyone does a bow, not just my actors, everyone who's taken part in this exhibit deserves a bow. But I just wanted to thank my actors, uh, Daniela Robustino, Abba Rab, Hannah Dacum, Jack, Jack Spowage, J Joe Francis, Juliet Daum, Kate Roberts, Marin Bereza, uh, Raman Jaff, uh, Sean Linden, and Vivian Fransula, as well as some people who were involved in the early process had to go out. So Tom Sargent, Sean, um, Sean Bailey, Rachel Barwise, Oliver Lee Riordan, um, Jody Emily, and as well as um, composer, Orson Harris, who's a fellow singer, who composed that last piece. Uh, I'd like to thank, it's written them down, hang on. I'd like to thank, sorry. I'd like to also thank photographers, Cameron Deacon, Petra Stein, Marin Briezer, Toby Little, Anna Zafarin, Emma Jones, Hannah Mann, Ruth Hogg and Jack Massey for creating those photographs that were in the end of the second part of the performance. I'd like to thank Miranda for making this all possible. I'd like to thank uh, the honour of ha having all my work shared with all the great artists. Well done to all of you. And um, yeah, I'd like to thank my dad who's put up with me working every past week and not doing much else. But yeah, okay, cool. I just wanted to say that. Well done, Richard. Great. What a team. That was quite a, quite a feat. So quite fantastic to have the theatre, the live performance in 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 the in the platform. Richard, I Brandon. just want to ask a little feeling from working with you, and thank you so much for letting us be part of it. Like letting us actors be part of it was really fun. Thank you. Yeah, no worries ever. Anytime. Who was just, who just said Miranda, who was speaking, who was I did. Speaking? I Harry did. <laughs> but uh, Farah, Farah, go ahead. Oh. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was just going to say, really, I, I love the way that the, you know, the whole programme ran. Um, and there was like highs mixed with quite a lot of quiet reflection. And there was a lot of peace and chaos at the same time. And it, it just really felt like, like the unpredictability of nature, it really reflected that. And it kind of like opened up all the meanings and just the, the vast connotations of nature itself. It really opened that up. Yeah. And also I feel like, especially with Veronica and um, Tim's like opening and closing pieces, kind of made me feel like I'd gone through like a whole day of like different journeys through landscapes and different weathers and art. And it just was wonderful really, I really loved it. So thank you. <laughs> I think that worked beautifully at the end. I really, really mm. did. Did you, Tim? Were you happy with that? Unmute. Uh, yes, I was. A bit glitchy, especially on the first one, but um, yeah, it's been a great day. Yeah. And it was a good ending. The sheep going backwards was really poignant, wasn't it? The, you know, the impossibility of being able to take the planet back. Yeah. It's really, really. Uh, I'm not sure if anyone can hear me. Yeah, cool. Um, uh, Tim's one of my oldest friends, um, both in terms of age and the length of time we've known each other. And um, yes, a lot today was quite glitchy, but um, as Tim will tell you, we've been working with. Um, art and technology for, for pretty much what, four decades and we've always embraced the glitch because it tells you you're in the moment and uh, yeah just really enjoyed the, the, some of your guys some of you guys work was, was awesome and really really inspiring um, Farah's soup was just 
um, a, a piece of magic. Um, I, I share your concern with the face masks. Um, I'm actually making my own masks and making too many and then giving them away on the local Facebook groups to try and stop the, the stupidity of the, the disposable society. But yeah, absolutely blown away by all of you. Fantastic. Keep it up. Thank you, Simon. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being with us. Harry, what did you want to say? Well, I just want to say that I'm fresh out of words. I, I've been I've been in tears. I've been really so enthralled by all of this. I'm really in awe of what you put together, both individually and as a group. And I don't want to, you know, you know, put an academic spin on it or, or intellectualize it because it was just such a visceral experience. And um, I don't, I've never, uh, you know, I've, I've actually been watching for most of the time. I had a few power outages here, or not power, but web outages because I was moving around. I had to go to a certain place where. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, moving on. So uh, and that didn't go over well, very well. I had to reconnect. But honestly, I'm just so I'm in awe of 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 the of this whole performance. And well, for you, it might not be you might not be able to gauge just how impactful this is. But I feel quite isolated here, and I feel I have so much. I've been given so much material to work with and thrown at me, really, that it's 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 quite quite challenging to 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 take it in and process it. Um, it's been really an amazing roller coaster experience, from the um, uh, from the sublime to the not to the ridiculous to the um, the the introspective and to the, the, the calming and soothing. And then we have this Fahrenheit 451 experience of this, uh, this narrative. I mean, and I'm currently writing on audio narratology and it is really, you should need, need to reach out to people who will then write about experiencing your work. Um, and Farah's cooking, I don't cook Farah, but um, that, was, that was fantastic. I know I'm, I was familiar with, with your work through adaptation, through the adaptation module. Yeah. You took it into a, a different direction altogether, and I was just—it was just honestly, I, 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 it was just incredible. And I, I would like to to thank Miranda for for putting this together and 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 and, and keeping this project together. It just wow, it's fantastic, and I'm I'm so glad to have been just an innocent bystander and just taking it all in. But tell me, but let me let me tell you, it was it was quite a lot to take in. Um, it was like watching, being on the internet for the first time. I, I just remember how, how challenging it was to navigating this non-space and, and partaking of things and, 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 and feeling isolated at the same time. This is how I felt today. It was just amazing. And as Kim said, the different accents, and you know, I can obviously relate to that. And knowing that you are currently in very different places and spaces are fantastic. Sorry, I'm so inarticulate, but it really, it really packed a wallet and why not, you know, I'd really have to say it just how I feel it. It was really fantastic. We, Thank we, you. We couldn't collectively